Hey guys, today we gonna talk about next generation supercomputers. So, let me tell you what is a supercomputer? A supercomputer is a special computer used for a specific task or groups of tasks like weather monitoring, molecular modeling etc. which is extremely hard to do on a normal desktop computer. They normally take up an entire floor of the building and sometimes the building too. The first ever computer was the size of the entire floor called ENIAC or Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. This computer works at 400 flops per second. The flop stands for floating point operation per second which means how much computation a computer can do in one second. The supercomputer we have today is 10 power of 15 times faster than the first computer. And that's called petaflops computer. The next supercomputer will be an exaflops computer. Peta means 10 power of 18. That'll be called an exascale computer. Experts are claiming that exascale computer will be thousands of times better performing than machines we have today. But what do we need such a large amount of computer for? Well for better prediction of the weather forecast which affected by minutes changes, natural phenomena like climate change, molecular bonding, protein folding simulation can eventually solve the cancer problem. Other fields which will use this computer are aviation, nuclear physics, power grid. But everything comes at a cost, right? These type of computers will be the tag of hundreds of millions of dollars and requires a huge amount of power and every computation produces a huge of heat too. The exascale computer will be no exception. So, we have to think differently to cool the machines and keep it running smoothly. But that's not the only problem we faced. The machine will have different architecture on the hardware and software level than the petascale computer we use today. So. The first ever exascale is called Frontier and it will arrive in late 2021 or early 2022 at Oak Ridge National Lab and will have a clock cycle of 1.5 exaflops. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video and if you like this video, give it thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.